Rarely does a team go through the entire West Catholic League season without a league loss, but that's just exactly what Valley Christian is trying to do tonight. The Warriors with their last major obstacle facing second place St. Francis. The Valley Christian Warriors have a huge offensive line which is tough to handle. The Lancers hoping a big home crowd and the chance of moving into a first place tie with Valley Christian will motivate their team in tonight's blockbuster game. This a hard fought defensive battle all night long. R.J. Stone racing in untouched for the sack there. Second quarter in this play is something special. Quarterback Miles Kendrick going around the end, then cutting it back, racing toward the end zone. Miles is running for Miles, and he's going to dive into the end zone and was pretty happy about the whole experience. Valley Christian gets a 7-0 lead. St. Francis looking to come back, but the Warriors' defense is swarming in the backfield. R.J. Stone with the initial hit. The ball is loose. The Lancers do recover, but another huge play by Stone. The Warriors get the ball back, and Bailey Schroeder nails the 35-yard field goal to give Valley a 10-0 lead at the half. Second half and a huge play here as Trayshawn Bishop blocks the punt and then picking it up in stride is Brandon Baines, and he is off to the races. Baines down the sideline and into the end zone. The St. Francis sideline was pretty happy about it, and it's a 10-7 Valley lead. Valley looking to extend its lead, but look at Bennett Williams go up and make a terrific grab on the interception. A great play by an outstanding player. The Lancers driving Reed Vettel out to his tight end. It's our friend Dom Graziani who makes the catch. Dom had a big game on both sides of the ball. That leads to this Matt Keith 24-yard field goal, and we're tied at 10-all. We go to overtime. Valley with the ball first on offense. He's stopped by Graziani, Josh Bacola, and Jaden Harris. VC misses their field goal, but Matt Keith does not. This is the game winner as Matt Keith gives the Lancers a three-point overtime win and got a lot of love for it. The Lancers now tied with Valley Christian and Sarah for first place in the league. Not much was going through my mind, actually. I was making sure that I was focusing on uh, my place hold and keeping my head down and making sure it was going through. We're both really hard-working teams, so when two both really hard-working teams go at it, you get stuff like this.